Hi, I'm Madonna Blythe, captain of the OMS Queensland Scorchers. Madonna, do you have any indulgences? Oh, where do I start? I have a few, but uh, probably the main ones are just the good foods, like chocolate and, and all the good stuff that you're not supposed to eat, but we sneak in occasionally. And how about any pre-game rituals or superstitions? Um, no superstitions, probably more ritual of getting ready the same way and eating similar foods, but I have learnt off one of my teammates, Amy Corner, that you have to put your left shin guard on before your right one, so I guess that's kind of stuck uh, more, more than anything else. And what sorts of music do you listen to? Um, I pride myself on lots of different music. My teammates might disagree in my taste, but uh, I don't mind a lot of new stuff, but also mix in a few of the oldies as well. Fantastic. And in your spare time, what do you like to do the most? I think catch up on sleep that I've missed because we've had to be up at training. So apart from that, you know, I enjoy going to the beach and doing, you know, going out for lunch and dinners and that kind of thing, but just catching up on things that you miss when you're away travelling and playing. And when did you start playing hockey? I started when I was five in Brisbane. Uh, my first club was Valley Hockey Club and then uh, my later years um, growing up were with commercial. And tell us what's, what's the most memorable thing to happen whilst on tour? Uh, well unfortunately for our manager um, on her birthday she set her hair on fire which everybody else found quite amusing but probably wasn't quite as funny for her but something that stuck in my mind for sure. Do you have any uh, phobias? Um, embarrassingly enough, yes, I'm scared of grasshoppers and uh, things like spiders, so I try and keep away from things like that as much as possible. Have you had any bad experiences with a spider or a grasshopper? I think just growing up, I think them just, you know, being creepy crawly things and you know, I think that's probably more than anything, well that's based on something, you know, that's not very, you know, scary but you know, it's stuck. Yep. If you could pick any occupation to pursue after your hockey career, what would it be? Uh, well, I'm studying justice at the moment, so probably anything that falls you know, in the justice realm uh, would be something that I'd be really interested in. And finally, tell us, what do you love the most about playing hockey? I think that it's just, you know, you get the chance to, to travel and, and play against the best players in the world, and I've been lucky enough to be in the Aussie team for a few years and been to plenty of different places, and it's just and it's an exciting sport, and it's a team sport, which I think is probably one of the best things as well. Fantastic. Thanks, Madonna. Thanks.